this one has an interesting story attached to it. I found it in a shed and put it into um, more optimal storage conditions. And then a researcher from the UK who had previously worked with one of our scientists, Peter Baker, contacted Peter and said, you know, I've found some more information about this fellow called George Francis, um, who he had been investigating previously. And George um, lived in Adelaide in the 1860s, 1870s. He um, was after some evidence of George having done water quality analysis um, as early as the 1870s and 1880s. And so they asked me to have a look, see if we had anything, and I couldn't find anything. And then I remembered this book, which uh, was, it's a ledger full of analyses across the state. And obviously there was too much in here to index. So I got it back out of storage and had a look. And, and this used. dates from when? Uh, 1870 something, most of it. So just here I've got a date of June 1880. Let me just go back to the beginning. Uh, 1878, that begins. Um, so in here I found in George Francis's own handwriting um, Do you want the to results. Pop the gloves on? Yeah, I might put the gloves on, it's a little yeah. bit easier. Yeah. <laughs> so I found the uh, yeah, his results of some analyses that he had done on the Thorndon Park Reservoir and the Hope Valley Reservoir, which wow. are the first two okay. reservoirs for Adelaide. And uh, So he would have been analysing that to ensure that the quality, water quality was safe, is that...? Yeah, what, what happened was he was analysing um, some cattle and, and stock deaths around Lake Alexandrina and uh, worked out that the blue-green algae was causing the deaths and that it was toxic to animals. And then not long after that, he was asked to do some analyses on water for Adelaide, for human consumption in Adelaide. And he put the two together and realized that, um, that blue-green algae is also toxic to humans. Um, and obviously that many other things in, that are potentially in water are toxic to humans. Um, so this is his record of his early analyses and some really interesting parts, if I can find it, are that he was looking through a microscope um, and then had to draw by hand what he could see through the microscope. There's only a few drawings, but here we go, here's one. So he's listed the microorganisms and drawn pictures of what he saw. Wow, that is just amazing. And the mm. date on this page is 1880. 1880, yeah. So, um, so this is just fantastic information, obviously um, very relevant to the work of SA Water even today in terms of water quality and the importance of water quality to human health. Yeah, well, we've come a long way since these days, but yeah, this is uh, the beginning, <laughs> the beginning of it. Yeah. That's fantastic. And did that um, research the um, UK gentleman was doing, has that been published? Yes, yeah, so a paper was published in a journal um, a few years ago now. Yeah.